Throughout Earth's long history, life has taken many strange and unexpected forms. From deep oceans to ancient forests, some of the creatures that once lived on our planet were so unusual that they seem like something out of science fiction. While these animals are now extinct, their fossils help scientists piece together their stories. In this video, we'll look at five of the strangest extinct creatures ever discovered, each with features that set them apart from anything alive today. Number one, Helicoprion. One of the most unusual creatures ever found is Helicoprion, a type of ancient shark that lived about 290 million years ago. What made this creature so strange was its lower jaw, which held a spiral of teeth that looked exactly like a circular saw blade. At first, scientists were confused about where this tooth spiral belonged. Some thought it might go on the nose or fin, but later discoveries and CT scans of fossils showed that the spiral was actually part of the lower jaw. This strange structure is called a tooth whirl. The tooth whirl likely helped Helicoprion catch soft-bodied sea animals like squid. As it bit down, the spiral of teeth may have pulled prey deeper into its mouth and sliced it up. Even stranger, this shark had no upper teeth at all only the spinning lower ones. No living animal today has anything like this. Because of this unique jaw, scientists often use Helicoprion as an example of how creative evolution can be. Helicoprion lived in the ocean during a time long before dinosaurs. Scientists still aren't completely sure why it went extinct, but it may have died out due to changes in ocean life, temperature, or competition from newer, more advanced predators. Even though it is long gone, its bizarre buzzsaw mouth still captures our imagination today. Number two, Hallucigenia. Another incredibly odd extinct creature is Hallucigenia, a tiny worm-like animal that lived over 500 million years ago during the Cambrian period. It was discovered in a fossil-rich area called the Burgess Shale in Canada. When scientists first found Hallucigenia, they didn't know what they were looking at. In fact, they accidentally reconstructed it upside down. They thought its legs were spiky armor and its spikes were legs. This confusion is one reason why the creature was named Hallucigenia. It looked like something out of a dream or a hallucination. Once scientists figured out how the animal was really built, it still didn't get much less strange. Hallucigenia had a soft, tube-like body with pairs of thin legs underneath and rows of sharp spikes on its back. Its head was tiny and hard to spot, and it had simple eyes and a small mouth. The spikes likely helped protect it from predators while it crawled along the seafloor in search of tiny food particles. Although this creature is long extinct, it is believed to be related to today's velvet worms, which are soft-bodied animals that live in tropical forests. But no modern animal looks quite like Hallucigenia. This strange little worm is an important part of science because it shows just how different life was during the early days of complex organisms. It's a reminder that life on Earth has taken many weird turns throughout history. Number three, Thylacolio. Australia is home to some of the most unique animals on the planet, and this has been true for millions of years. One of the strangest and most powerful extinct animals from Australia is Thylacolio, also known as the marsupial lion. This animal lived as recently as 46,000 years ago, which means it may have been around when the first humans arrived in Australia. It got its name because it was a marsupial, a mammal that carries its babies in a pouch, and because it was a meat-eater like a lion, though it wasn't related to lions at all. Thylacoleo had a strong, stocky body and powerful jaws that were perfect for slicing through meat. Instead of regular canine teeth, it had sharp, blade-like teeth that could cut through bone. It also had strong front legs with large claws that helped it grab and hold onto its prey. Some fossils suggest that it may have been able to climb trees, which could have helped it ambush animals from above. This strange predator likely hunted large animals, such as giant kangaroos and other ancient mammals. It may have even had to compete with early human hunters. Scientists think it went extinct due to a mix of climate change and hunting by humans, though we can't be sure. Today, Thylacolio stands out as one of the most unusual examples of a carnivorous marsupial and a reminder of Australia's wild evolutionary history. Number four, Animalocarus. Long before dinosaurs roamed the Earth, the oceans were filled with strange and mysterious animals. One of the earliest and weirdest of these was Anomalocarus, which lived about 500 million years ago. The name means strange shrimp, and it was given this name because scientists originally thought its fossilized parts came from several different animals. Only after more complete fossils were found did they realize that the mouth, arms, and body 
all belonged to one very odd creature. Anomalocaris was one of the first large predators in Earth's oceans. It had a long, segmented body that helped it swim through the water and big compound eyes for spotting prey. Near its mouth were two spiny arms which it used to grab animals like trilobites, an extinct kind of sea bug. Its circular mouth was made of plates that could open and close like a camera lens, allowing it to crush and eat hard-shelled creatures. At up to three feet long, Anomalocaris was much bigger than most other animals of its time. It probably ruled the oceans and played a big role in the food chain. Even though it no longer exists, this strange and early predator gives scientists clues about how life in the oceans began to get more complex. Its fossils are some of the most exciting from the Cambrian period. Number 5. Dunkley Osteus when it comes to ancient sea monsters, few are as terrifying as Dunkleosteus. This giant armored fish lived about 360 million years ago and could grow up to 30 feet long. It was one of the largest and most powerful predators of its time. What made Dunkleosteus truly unique was its head and jaw. Instead of teeth, it had sharp, bony plates that worked like scissors, able to slice through almost anything, including bone and armor. Dunkleosteus had an incredibly fast bite. It could open and snap its jaws shut in just a few milliseconds, creating a strong suction to pull prey into its mouth. This ability made it one of the most dangerous creatures in the sea. Its head was covered in thick bone armor, which protected it during fights with other large animals, including other Dunkleosteus. Fossils even show bite marks from fights between members of the same species. This armored fish lived during the Devonian period, often called the Age of Fishes, because of the many kinds of fish that evolved during that time. As the environment changed and new types of animals began to appear, Dunkleosteus eventually disappeared. But its massive armored skull and fierce jaw still amaze scientists today. It reminds us that the seas have always been home to powerful predators, even millions of years ago. These five incredible animals, Helicoprion, Hallucigenia, Thylacolio, Anomalocaris, and Dunkleosteus, remind us just how weird and wonderful life on Earth can be. Though they are long gone, their fossils continue to teach us about evolution, survival, and the diversity of life in the distant past. Studying these strange creatures helps us better understand the history of our planet and the wild paths life can take.